Hello, Tone Chasers. Everybody well? Everybody good? I, I know it's been a little while since I've put up any new audio. Um, life gets in the way. Some of you have been asking about this interview and I wanted to repost it for you. I did this one in December 79, right before the uh, Women and Children First uh, record came out. Uh, I write about it uh, at length in Tone Chaser in a, a chapter called uh, Women and Children, But First the Bursts. That was the afternoon Edward uh, came over and brought those two Les Pauls and jammed and played through my Marshall and shook the heavens. And we talked about uh, the, the, the new record uh, that was about to come out. So I hope you dig this and um, please respond, share, click like, write reviews on Amazon, be healthy, be happy, and uh, we'll be seeing you. Thanks, bye. Just simple. But I like it, you know, because it had a break in it. What was that called? Well, I, I don't write titles, you know, I'm just writing music. This sounded real neat, and you mean I'll just play it for the be a little stop there, you know. There was once one other song we recorded for the for the album called Red Zone. I should have brought that thing. Red Zone? Yeah. It started out with the bass going. It sounded real good. Then, the, then I came in with some echo noises with a wawa. It sounded real weird. And then I came in. Then I came in with some echo noises with a double time. I mean, for, at first, Al just played it. Yeah, we'll double time. That was a good song. I'll, I'll let you hear it on the tape sometime the next time you come on. Might that be on, on uh, a yeah, future record? Yeah. What was the one tune with the... It just didn't seem to fit with the rest of the songs. It was too... It was more progressive. Mm -hmm. A little more progressive than the rest, so we decided to leave it off. Mm -hmm. What was the one tune with that little uh, Townsend? Uh, Romeo. Yeah. Romeo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're getting on. <laughs> what, Bang in the E string on the pickup. What kind of what are the chords that you're playing on the the one song with the the little volume thing? It's like in between the verse. Oh, that's the same song. Yeah. The same song. Yeah.
See, that song has a lot of little tricks in it. Yeah. Guitar, guitar tricks. It starts out with this. What's the, what's the last part? It does have you know, a few weird guitar things in it, if you listen close. Uh-huh. The song reminds me, um, and no offense to be tended, of like an old Sabbath song. Does it? Black Sabbath, yeah. Oh, as a matter of fact, it has In the song, and the muck, out in the field of dark is dark and dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it does the rhythm. Yeah, what was that called? War Pigs? War Pigs. Is that War Pigs? <laughs> Yeah, I've got one thing. Yeah. I don't think it all is all. Oh, no. I'm just doesn't like, it all really sound like Van Halen? Yeah, it. It's definitely Van Halen. Definitely. Does the guitar sound hot to your ass? Oh, it sounds great. It sounds real warm and you know, real tony. This one actually sounds better than that one. Does it really? Yeah. But this one, that one is more, you know, it's going to be worth a lot more money. Just because of the finish and the year and everything. What what did you buy him? Um, Norman Harris, Norman Rare Guitars. Uh, he actually called me up. You know, he he that one came out of his private collection. I mean, look, look at that thing, the light on it. Yeah, it's beautiful. He has stuff only only up to this caliber hanging in the store. Uh, anything nicer than this, he doesn't show anyone. Mm-hmm. You know, he's got a warehouse. Out in the boonies somewhere, so nobody knows how to get to it. I just had some beautiful guitars, and that was the nicest one. So I said, I want it. <laughs> and he even told me if I, after a few years, I don't want it anymore, he'll buy it back for the wrong price. Okay. Just because he, he doesn't like selling, he's he's into it as an art, you know, he's into collecting them. And he doesn't want to just sell them off to some kid who's going to ruin them. Mm-hmm. He'll only sell them to someone who he knows to take care of it, you know, and keep the thing, you know. Mm-hmm. The only thing I dislike about somebody like that is, here's a guy who who has millions of guys running out every day. They get recycled. The day for comes out, and grab them all, and grab them, you know, and which is cool. He doesn't leave you know, anything for. He doesn't leave anything, and also by being able to sell to people like you, and, and obviously they are art objects as well as, as instruments. But I mean, uh-huh. whatever you paid for that guitar just jacks the price of those things up yeah. tremendously. But it's like. It's investment, I understand that, but I mean, it's really people like him, really, who have who've done that kind of thing before. Yeah. I mean, you can still find hip guitars, yeah. um, but, you know, you, you, you pay for what you get, you know. Yeah. And, uh, That's true. I paid a fucking lot for these two guitars. I'm sure you did. That's a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. You feel like, uh, I've never in my life, I actually, you know, spent more than 400 bucks on a guitar. I remember you telling me that, yeah. Around. Just one day I just said, shit, I got some money, I might as well put it away, you know, instead of blowing it. Yeah, yeah. let me plug it in. Uh-huh. I took the wheels off, so we're going to have to... What is this thing I got more games and more trouble, but it's that's nasty volume. So turn that all the way up. I don't want to get it down. Yeah, turn that all the way down, that all the way up. Volume. Yeah. Yeah. What to do? The maximum mainly is if you're gonna play a lower volume, you want a fat sound. 
to try to crank up the master volume and turn down the regular volume. Oh, I see. Well, how do you set it up just like it didn't have a master volume? Yeah, I think the master volume has to be on. Yeah. Uh, I think if you turn the ramp all the way off, I can... That's how you get the fire. Uh, that's how you get the fire. Yeah, yeah, sounds fine. 
I mean, you can get your sound effects with it, but I mean, for us, uh, yeah. I mean, the it Marshall, makes a lot of difference, too, because when you go to the pedal board, it changes the sound a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, it cuts some of the highs. And, I don't know. I think I told you before that every little thing that you add makes it change the sound. Mm -hmm. You know? So, like, my set of vision like one's pretty rough to get into it. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. I met this guy who uh, was working on some pull off stuff. Some what? Some pull off, you know, like the, the finger thing? Yeah. You know stuff? Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen I can't. The guy, the thing's going pretty well. You really need a guitar on to do it. Just like a. Uh, And using that, that kind of thing, you know, he can go, like, you know, and just, yeah. you know, you know. yeah. You do the same thing, like, yeah. you do the same thing by going like this. Right. Slenderella bars I gave you last time. <laughs> did I like it? Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> I got a Tiger's Milk bar too. Great. Should give me a good one. You have to forgive me, man. I'm not a, I'm not a domestic. I don't keep food in the house. Make it big and healthy. Care of the care taste. Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't give you problems. Cool. Well, right, here's it. Like I did in now. Uh, Basically. Yeah. It's not sugarless, but there's not that many calories, not like 200 calories. Mm -hmm. It looks like you have to eat a Milky Way bar. Mm -hmm. It's asterisk. Mm -hmm. Do some energy for tomorrow. Do you eat this stuff all the time? Yeah, that's all I have a thought of this. Really? You were you ready for an atomic war, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Boxes. 
fallout shelter. Mm. Yeah, I just think about those kinds of things. Uh, hope I don't get drafted. <laughs> don't laugh. I'm not. <laughs> I'm laughing out of fear. <laughs> I also hope a word is picked up on what you read. What do you think of ZZ Top's latest? I like it. Yeah. I like it. I love Matic Mechanic. Oh god, it's incredible. That sound mm -hmm. is incredible. Uh, how does it go? The first part is that weird da 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 da. Oh, yeah, it's good. on the voice. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds fun. There's the one with, when, it, when he's doing all those uh, harmonics and the notes, but it's, it's some kind of effect or something. Like every note is like a... Yeah. 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 It's great. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met them? Yeah. Great. Should have overweight now, though. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, Texas. Oh, man. Yeah, they like the steaks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to go see him at Long Beach. If not rehearsing. The 15th. Yeah. I think I'm going to start rehearsing that week. At a place in SLR, I think. But let me know. You know, you know I doubt it's something like that. I know Billy's going to come. Me and my dad. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Is Billy there? Yeah, I'll just get some guys to start. Yeah, sure. You guys, uh, an amazingly intellectual guy, believe it or not. He can be a dumb hit, but he's not. He reads and all that kind of thing. Books and art films and Oh yeah. But what he does, he's a great guitar player. Oh yeah. You know, oh, I always like the stylus and all. Talk about a guy with a fantastic collection of guitars. Oh yeah. He's probably the most superior Paul I've ever seen oh, yeah. Yeah. He had Gibson build a guitar. Um the body is a shape of Texas. Yeah. You seen that? Mm -hmm. But he's got some gold top and some gold top and some some mm -hmm. and stuff. Nice guy too. I've always wanted one like that though. You know, the tiger's back. Mm -hmm. This guy was seen. Is that the original case? Yeah. I believe that. Show we played? Yeah. Just I remember the, the stuff uh -huh. in the background. Yeah, yes, I have that picture of me and you. Oh, and right. Your eyes. Uh -huh. I haven't gotten from the other one. Maybe in the Texas. I can't wait to see that. Uh -huh. I haven't gotten one of these. Uh -huh. Everybody kind of points to that one. That's fun. That's the guitar to cover here. This is the guitar that, that he got from Hendrix at uh, the Miami Pop Festival that he burned. Where? That one here. The guitar player, you can see it here. <coughs> oh, yeah. Some of the time. I don't know how he got it. But he kind of resurrected it. All the pickups were burned. Plus, the pickups were burned. the body. You could it. Stretches where we like where I want. Set them up down. I think it's some lady, Car Carla, something like that. 
the art director. Oh no, this won't fit our, our uh, format. Now that I look at all these, it won't fit. Yeah. That's all I need. Then I send four more. Or three more. I ended up sending about 13 fetches. And I find, and she calls it and goes, None of these will work. We're getting a shipment of goldsmith shots and so on. I call it back and say, no way, you're <laughs> not using a goldsmith shot. I don't want the cover shot if you're going to put a goldsmith shot on. Because she, you spend so much money on lighting, and one goldsmith come, comes up, shoots with a flash. This rules, you know, the whole effect of the lighting, mm -hmm. you know. Because our lighting is, is on us, you know. It's mm -hmm. not like three cap bullshit. It's mm -hmm. theatrical lighting. So finally she came in and said, okay, we're going to replace the original ones. And I just kind of feel she's going to pick the third one. <laughs> yeah, but he got the point. She said, well, what we really need is a picture where Ed was looking at the credits. Oh, I was all white. Well, you know, I, I was going to be pissed, you know. That's not shit if you know, you know, I act like that. I don't even want the fucking cover. Didn't you all have any shots? Yeah, all kinds of shots, you know. But then this wouldn't work and that wouldn't work, you know. He has Jeff Beck, don't you? Huh? That's Neil's Jeff Beck show. Oh, yeah? And I want that one. It's cool, I guess. It's that free story I get for you. Yeah. You know, just doing this kind of thing and hanging around these people. You know, you hang around important people that makes you feel somewhat important. You know? Oh, yeah? So I just like, you know, it might be, I don't know if it's ego or what, but I just like knowing that I've done something, you know, and if, if it means taking pictures with people, and if it's ego, and you, and you have yeah. to lower yourself to do it, then I do it, you know. Um, I don't think it's wrong with you at all. You know, I mean, you're a part of history, you're part of musical history, and you've created something on record that's there and lasting, you know. And for me, maybe it's some stories I've done that'll last, you know, and maybe my grandchildren will see the picture, so, you know, I, I, just, I just like it. Fuck the difference between getting goddamn rock and roll. <laughs> There's never been and never will be on your wall. You know, I've done so many interviews that I didn't have any pictures taken from you. Know. Is that Black Man the right? Uh, that's Jack Bruce. That's Jack Bruce. Yeah. Only time I've ever met him. Is that Black Man? Is he nice guy? Uh. Yes and no. I only met him at like this party. He's always been one of my idols, too. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a little bit kind of sarcastic about it. And I said, I, I would love to do an interview with you. He said, well, why not? I'm the best. You don't have to open that serious right now. Uh -huh. Did you just say that? Yeah. <laughs> How can someone just say that? Well, they are on the best. Just to get you over here. How's your group going to be? Oh, it's a Patreon. Yeah. Uh, I read something about him, you know, he was saying about America. Was, uh, I think he's getting down on some of the honors. Really? There's something about him. You know, good musicians in America, except for bass players. And... Bass players show up. Pop Jack for you on that one. Oh, uh, that would be hot. A different hot than the yeah. Bogey. Oh, a different hot. Styles just appears to me more. But you know, it's a mm -hmm. rock. Yeah, yeah. there's just the dressing, right? But Tim, Tim has a technique. He could, he could play anything he wanted to. Yeah. He could play any progressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah but he put in this song, you know, he does all the harmonics and you know, and that I definitely learned from him if I wanted to play bass. I would fuck around with him. You know, maybe I'd, I'd rather play like him than anybody. Mm -hmm. There's so many weird little things no one else does. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, it's just like, you know, it's not wrong, you know, I do a lot of the individual things in there, which probably pass a lot of people by, mm -hmm. and I mean, give it a second thought. Second thought right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's why I like Bogus, you know, because I kind of do the same thing on guitar, weird little things. <laughs> yeah. It was a spur in the moment thing, you know. Well, I don't think it's okay.
<laughs> I can just send a drink, but I have nothing. Oh, no. Chocolate last night. The dietetic, it might taste slightly funny to you. It tastes funny to you? If I bogey, uh, <laughs> no one? I think one's going up. <clears throat> Sorry. No, it's cool. Again, you know, there's, there's like 150 calories in both of them. Uh, so, rather than me coming up here and. Sure. You only get one body in this water. Right. Not that I'm any, any you know, health person, but. You gotta take care of it. Yeah. Just like my one brain cell, I take care of it. <laughs> if you ever get rid of your original strap, Probably won't though. Oh, I like it for recording. I'll let you borrow it back to record. <laughs> Do you know a girl named Deidre? Black hair, gorgeous. She was there that night um, for Bogart. The friend Valerie, he's kind of a redhead. Dave was talking with Deidre. I thought you might have known her. No, Deidre Peters. Sounds familiar. Dave knows her. I was just talking to her. Right, she was just there. She was just amazing looking. The girl in that, or someone where she worked, and I called her at work. I should give him a home phone. Like, So call her. Scared to death. <laughs> yeah. I um, I was awake and saying it was whiskey Carol. And it was one all white. Yeah. She caught the clap on that bitch. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. That's that's horrible. Tell me. <laughs> well, I hope it was worth it. Yeah. She's hot looking. Yeah. She's in Italian babes, you know. Yeah. Give her five years, she looked like mama so last. You know? uh -huh. <laughs> she looked hot that night, that thing she was wearing. Yeah. Well, she's, you know, in her prime now. She looks good, but EMT in five years, she's going to look like she's going to find a pizza cat. <laughs> you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Yes, Kim. Just right down the street from me, it's nice and easy. <laughs> you ever hang out with her? What? Did you ever hang out? I mean, bring her to oh, shows yeah. or things? Oh, not, not when I go out to shows. She doesn't like to be around. So I always ignore her. <laughs> well, I'm always running around, you know, so much shit to do, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't like to sit and have a check out and hang on my own. Mm -hmm. I've taken her before and she's like, hey, talk to me, talk to me. I'm like, shit, you know, I'm just telling these other people I talk to. I just told her you can come. I'm not telling you to stay home, but I'm not gonna sit there and, you know, entertain you the whole fucking night. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna walk around talking. You know, I, I think she came to Cheap Trek. Were you at Cheap Trek? Uh, where? Backstage? No, you weren't there. You weren't at the show at uh, Long Beach. No. Yeah. yeah, she came with me there. You know, talking to Rick and all them. You know, and she just keeps going. <laughs> I said, "Oh shit, this is the way it is. You know, you can come, but..." Have your own fun, you know. <laughs> Depend on me. You don't have to finish that, Eddie. Oh, no, it's cool. I'm getting into it. <laughs> it's got a, it's got a dietetic taste, you know. If you're not used to it, it tastes funny. The chocolate ones are are, are not. You can taste less because it's sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if you're thinking of it until you told me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you're into double dating and things like that, you know. But if you just want to go out sometime and. Uh, just go to dinner or something with you and your chicken, whatever, you know. And I don't know if you do those kind of things. Mm -hmm. I was trying to think of double dating. It sounds like so much shit to do. Mm -hmm. 
I would just pop over to your house, you know. <laughs> Sitting on there, it's like where I go to relax. Mm -hmm. you know? I don't know. But there's a lot of anything, actually. Can't talk, she can't talk and take your Palm Springs for a week and before you take off. Oh, really? But I don't have the time. Tuning guitar. That uh, the nose was the guitar I told you it was twice as fast. Can you get that thing pink quick? Oh, are you going to do it? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking of using going down to Neil's house, to his parents' house, because he has one of those spray guns. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sick of fucking a bicycle paint. Must do a good job. Are you just going to paint it, paint it one color? No. I'll do stripe shit. Mm -hmm. Stripe. Adds as much me as the finger shit. You know? That's funny. I always go back to black and white then. That's the first one. I like that. It's the first one to black and white, you know. <laughs> it's red, black, and white. <laughs> it still sounds good. Who's out there? Blind? Yeah. Um, Name of the Flame? Violin player, remember it? It's a beautiful day, remember that one? Oh, yeah. White bird? Mm -hmm. Poor little story happened to them. Mm -hmm. um, they had like a couple of kits, White bird had a couple others, and the band broke up or something, but the manager owned the name of the band, and anything having to do with the band, he owned. He saw not one cent from any of that. In fact, he was sued. He, he's, in fact, he's still in debt. He was in debt for like half a million bucks. He had to go to uh, debtor's prison and all kinds of things. Lost his wife. I had a breakdown over it, you know. The nicest guy that he ever would have eaten. And that's something that happened to me. Twain Eddie. Twain Eddie? Sounds from King of the Twang guitar. King of, king of the what? Of the, they call it King of the Twang guitar. He's a guy used to Turn down the pitches of the strings. That kind of stuff. Oh, almost like not surf guitar, but what did he do? Uh, uh, I don't know if you know it. Yeah. I can't think of it. He used to be like, like he was around like in the late 50s and 60s. He got the record just a little while ago. I think I'm having a fireplace for the movie. A little freestanding. Do you own this place? No. Are you renting it? Because you can do anything you want to it? Well, I told my dad, I said, listen, I'll put up half a night for a fireplace. And he said, no, I'm okay, because I mean, the fireplace is going to stay here when I go. Yeah. You know, you know nothing you did. So, you know, I had a chance to buy this place. Well, you make payments, can't you? Yeah, it's Jimmy talking about. This place and the place next door for ninety thousand dollars. He just sold that place for seventy six thousand. This place is now five hundred and a half. Because if there's another part of the house back there, yeah. Yeah. as one house, it'd be a nice place. Yeah. yeah. That's just it. It's just gonna go up and up and up. It's not gonna come down. Yeah, we're, we're, as a matter of fact, we're buying a house right now for my mom, for my mom's dad. Yeah. Hopefully, that'll be next year. Uh, first year is for my dad, second year is for my mom, third year is for me. Yeah. We can pay it for everything. Yeah. We retired my dad last year. Have a nice house, you know. Be sure after the second tour, after the third tour, I'm gonna get paid myself. <laughs> Buy a car, you know. I bought the Jeep, 
that's the only thing I bought. Spending a thousand dollars on the Jeep and the guitars and the jet ski. I'm kind of crazy about it. I don't know. I'd like to buy maybe a Ferrari from an investment. Like Ted Tuck and me has got a couple of nice old ones that mm -hmm. like he doesn't even drive and then in the garage and then just go up and up and up. He bought one for I think 60000 and it's worth twice the five hundred. $20,000 car now, and there's buyers out there, you know, there's people who pay for it. Right. Where are you going? I'm all smoked, too. Just came totally unprepared. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Right you got something to write about? Yeah. Yeah. I just feel, you know, I feel Frank's that, you know, having to put, even put a tape on, I just love you know, oh, having you come over and pan? hanging up. Oh, God. Like, oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. I gotta take the glasses off of this. Yeah. I did a story on REO Speedwagon, a guitar player for Guitar Player a while ago. Which one did you? Gary Richrath from the Vine? Yeah, it's one of the band. But, uh, I did a story that this girl in Sandoval, Illinois, published in 2000. Saw the story, wrote to guitar player, said, Thanks, Steve Rosen, for the story. They forwarded the letter to me. And I, I wrote her back, you know, and said, Yeah, it's not the letter. And I think, you know, in my own way, you know, people care enough to write a letter about a story that I can certainly write a letter back. You know, and then she wrote back and wrote her back, you know. And uh, she called, I guess I put my phone number in there or something. She called the phone one time. It was my birthday. And it was my happy birthday, you know. Oh, yeah. And she said, Something's on the way. I said, What? It, she sent me. This cross pen with my initials on it. I wow. mean, just for somebody, you know, yeah. to be that nice, it, you know. Who was it the same thing? Just some girl. I mean, I've never met. I don't know who she is. And just because I wrote that story and she liked it, you know. Good trip. What's his name? Danny. Yeah. In fact, why don't you start, like, the thing, uh, Danny, happy birthday from Edward or something, put Van Halen on the next one or something. Continue it on two albums. No. Say that again. Just start the start start, this start it. That's no, okay. Start it here, yeah. and then finish it on this one. Oh, oh right. if you want. Well, I was just gonna say, look out for Danny on this one. I'm okay. Sorry, but happy birthday on this one. Great. Right. That's cool. <laughs> you like being called Edward, don't you? Oh, uh, I'm starting to get used to Eddie now. Are you? Yeah. Because everybody's calling me Eddie. I'm not bothering anybody. Is there, every time I call the phone, I say, uh, say, uh, who is this? It's Edward, you know, because you call yourself that. I figured you yeah. wanted to call us. That's why, you know. It used to, it used to really bother me. Yeah. Because, you know, everybody called me Eddie. Long time ago. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
mainly fans, you know. Mm-hmm. Fans, hey, hey. Like, hey, Edward. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But whatever. You know, I could probably have a fight with any man, you know. Mm-hmm. Which I guess is why I didn't have it. Just so they don't call you late for dinner, right? Yeah. Now you can help me get out of here. Yeah. What time is it now? Okay, this one. I'll grab the guitars.